everybody, it's Becca again. I thought I would do another update. Um, I am 8 TPO right now. I ovulated on cycle day 16, so I'm in the two week wait, and I find the two week wait to be brutal. This month is not as bad as it was uh, last month. Last month, when we saw, thought that we possibly could be pregnant, it was a really brutal two week wait. Now I'm just kind of feeling. Well, we'll see if it happens. Um, I haven't really had any symptoms. I never really do. So, that doesn't really help. Um, but I did get a package in the mail um, that I ordered. Um, and it came in a week and a half. And I ordered uh, the Fertile CM. So I started taking that yesterday as soon as I got it. So I'm really excited to try it and then once I've tried it for like a month same thing as I did with the Fertilate and the Fertility after I've tried it for at least a month um, to see if, how it affects me or what it's doing then um, I'll do a review on this as well. So I got three bottles and uh, uh, the price was for the three bottles was $53.94 and that was with free shipping so the bottles worked out to $17.98 a bottle. Um, and yeah, so just the Fertile CM. And so I order from earlypregnancytest.com. I'll just cover my address and I'll show you. So that's where I order from, earlypregnancytest.com. Um, so yeah, so I'm excited to try that, see how it goes. I decided not to take uh, the Fertilate again for another month just because I was having really bad side effects and I want to get rid of this rash. and that I was getting and I decided that I was done. Um, besides that, nothing else really new is happening um, in the TTC world. I mean, we timed our baby dancing really, really well, um, but at this point, I feel like we should get an IUI done and my husband doesn't want to, so then we're kind of in limbo. We can't do anything. If he doesn't want to get it done, then I can't get it done. So. Um, I talked to him about it and, um, just said, like, I'll save up the money. What if by December, if we're still not pregnant, will you at least consider it? So he said, yes, he'll consider it. So we'll wait to see what happens if I'm not pregnant by December, which let's be realistic. I'm probably not going to be. It's been two years already. Um, so being re realistic, I don't think I will be. I mean, I'm always hopeful a little bit, but I just find, I don't know if you guys find this the same, but um, to keep up that hope is, it's really, really hard and it's, um, it makes it way more like messing with your mind uh, during the two week wait and way more stressful. So um, that hope thing, I, I try not to think about it. I just try to think I'm probably not going to be pregnant just because when I have the hope, it just is that much harder every month when I'm not pregnant. So, realistically, I don't think I'll be pregnant by December. Um, so, if I'm not pregnant by December, and I'm not saying that a miracle couldn't happen, it could. But if I'm not, and I've done the acupuncture and the chiropractor, I'm still taking fertility, I'm starting for the fertile CM, um, exercising, eating, if none of that's working by December and we're still not pregnant, I'm really hoping that he's going to reconsider and decide that, okay, maybe $350 is not that much considering all the money that I have personally spent already on doing all this stuff for myself. Um, and if I'm paying for it, then I don't even know why. It's an issue for him. He just has to take a day off work um, to come down and pretty much everything else is all on me. So I'm hoping that by January we get to, to do an IUI. Um, besides that, nothing else really happening. Um, personally, it's the weekend. Yay, it's Saturday. My grandparents, um, they live in BC and they made a surprise visit in last night. So we're going to go down over to my, they're at my mom's house, and my, well, my parents, my mom and dad's house. And we're going to go in probably later this afternoon. Um, we have to get groceries and do a few things first, and then we're going to have a barbecue there. Um, we were visiting them last night for a bit till about like 9, 9.30. Um, then we came home, and so we're going to come back again, because we don't get to see them that often, because uh, BC is like about a nine hour drive away. So we don't go down there too much, and if we do, it's on a long weekend, and 
My mom, I, my mom has a whole bunch of family in Kelowna, and then my dad has a whole bunch of family in Summerland, which is there about an hour apart. Um, and when you leave on a Friday for the long weekend, you basically have Saturday and Sunday to see everyone, which is a lot of people. So I have to try and see everyone, and then we are leaving Monday morning. So um, I really don't get to see them that much. So I'm really excited that they're out, and um, I'm really excited to visit. So that is my quick update, and I hope you guys are all going to have a great weekend. I will talk to you again later. Bye.